happiness can be found even in the darkest of times. If one only remembers to turn on the light. Sir Michael Gambon, who played Albus Dumbledore in six of the eight Harry Potter films, has died. He was 82 years old. A rep for the actor said in a statement to Deadline that he died peacefully in hospital with his wife Anne and son Fergus at his bedside following a bout of pneumonia, adding, we ask that you respect our privacy at this painful time and thank you for your messages of support and love. Now the pain we all feel at this dreadful loss reminds me and reminds us that while we may come from different places and speak in different tongues, our hearts beat as one. The official Harry Potter account on X, formerly known as Twitter, also paid tribute. We are incredibly saddened to hear of the passing of Sir Michael Gambon. He brought immeasurable joy to Harry Potter fans from all over the world with his humor, kindness, and grace. We will forever hold his memory in our hearts. Welcome, welcome to another year at Hogwarts. Yeah, it is emotionally hard, but uh, it's good. It's hard work. Uh, I'm, it was just worked out very well. Michael notably stepped into the role of Dumbledore in 2004's The Prisoner of Azkaban, taking over the part from the late Richard Harris after his death in 2002. Oh, by the way, when in doubt, I find retracing my steps to be a wise place to begin. Good luck. Michael remained the beloved wizard till the franchise ended in 2011. I've been in it for seven years and uh, I'm all dressed up. I wear wonderful makeup, wigs and beards and so and I have a wand and a stick and I meet all these fellows. And they've all become my friends, so it's become a highlight of my life. The actor is survived by his wife, Ann Miller, and son, Fergus. Do not pity the dead, Harry. Pity the living. And above all, all those who live without love.